may press briefing on Metro, but mainly to explain their purchase of the Beacon shares from uh, from PLDT, so to fund PLDT's investment here. So the the whole objective is not to borrow against this transaction. So PLDT, that's my goal, no? not for it not to borrow. Let's fund it with. I see anyway with the sale of uh, the 25 percent. PLTT will make a significant gain of uh, 7.4 billion net of tax. And uh, we, we did ask about our core guidance whether we will adjust it. Can you answer it? Uh, we'll probably adjust it slightly upward. Sir, so would this mean that uh, your three year uh, transition period, sir, na magsa suffer yung PLDT ng mga blows would be adjusted. lessened, adjusted as well? Uh, we don't know that yet. Unlikely, I would say. I see what's the whole point of investing in these new frequencies if you cannot raise our revenues. No? I, I cannot tell you by how much, but it is unlikely. We are, we are prepared to revise our guidance on the core income for 2016 to 30 billion pesos 30. Okay, from 28. Hindi niyo tinanong, I to tell you. Tutulog kayo. So how significant is the improvement on the consumer side? Kasi sabi niyo, di ba, in six months there would be improvements. How significant would it be? Well, faster speed, better coverage. Yun naman ang kailangan, di ba? And consistent quality. You know, you know, we're doing our best to really, marami ang mga... Hindi lang naman frequency ito. Eh. Cell sites have got to be fixed. Mm -hmm. They've got to be optimized. And the transmission from the cell site to the core. Kasi lalaki yung, yung usage. So the pipes between the base station and the core have got to be enlarged. And then to the extent that the internet is US oriented, we have to enlarge the cable landing stations, no? international cable facilities. So the entire network has got to be enlarged. So, sir, you double kayo ng efforts on rolling out LTE because 700 is LTE, right? Yes, yes, yes. Plus, the devices have got to be addressed. For now, limited to the more, most expensive devices. You know. So, the market on LTE is quite limited, especially in 700. Kanya, we have to look at how to address the devices. More devices and hopefully declining prices so that more and more people can afford the device. Right? Why, why is it going up again? Because you expect There'll be some gains on the beacon transaction. Okay. That could it's boost. More, more, than that. Huh? More, more than that. So in terms of lowering prices, what can you say about it? Lowering, lowering price, affordable. Yeah, I think this is because you're sending out promise, sorry, they promise, promise lower prices when they end prices. I don't know, that's their position. So I mean, I think we will make it affordable pricing. You mean more affordable? So, <laughs> sir, how affordable? Very. <laughs> <laughs>